So, I've come up with a plan. I shall farm it myself. Hey, howdy, hey, petrol heads, car heads, vehicle heads. I don't know if those are things. And basically anyone that enjoys watching those stooges getting up to no good. <laughs> Wolfman47 Dash here and welcome to what should be the 200 subscribers special but may actually be higher than that depending on how far I am by the time you see this video. You see I'm recording this in October just after reaching 200 subscribers so I may actually have more than 200 by the time you actually see this video. So a lot of you seem to like my shorts on that of the shenanigans of the three stooges that are Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May. And I decided that rather than do another do another gameplay video of me playing a game that I've not played in a while or something for these for the special milestone video, I decided that I'll talk about twenty five of my favourite moments featuring the three either together or separately doing different stuff. Um, I personally am not a big fan of cars or the stuff that they drive. Um, but I do like watching them in action, just being silly, just doing what they do best and just have a good time and, and all that and all that stuff. Um, that's really all, all I like about Clarks and Hammond and May more than anything. So, uh, yeah, I've got my tablet down here. So every time I'll be I'll be going there to sort of go through the different moments that I've picked. So let's get to it. And because I can pick a specific moment from each of the specials, I'm going to break my little rule of doing one thing per special episode, whatever, um, and just pick multiple from different parts. So anyway, let's get to it. So I'll start by talking about the Africa special. So in this special, the which is part of Top Gear, the trio are, are forced to bring three state cars and are, go on a journey to find the source of the River Nile. Um, during the journey, um, James May, Jamie Clarkson and Richard Hammond each take a part of each other's cars to help keep, keep them moving. So it starts with James May, who takes something off Clarkson's door to put on his car to fix something there. Clarkson doesn't notice that um, the door has been taken off until after that muddy saga that they have later on. Um, and in revenge, uh, and in revenge, he decides to take a piece of of um, James May's bonnet to to a pair's door, which James May wasn't too happy about. And then a little while later, James May takes part of um, Rich, Richard Hammond's bonnet to repair his bonnet. Richard repairs his bonnet with Jeremy Clarkson's toilet. Um, and Jamie Clarkson repairs the repairs his back window with the back window of of Richard Hammond's car, which he puts a cardboard box, cardboard not cardboard box, a cardboard cover, no a wooden cover I should say, with that. Yeah, it's just it's just funny the way they just take each other's bits and just complain at one another, and yeah, it's just the things that happen when they when they do that. So in one of the regular Top Gear episodes, they do this um, challenge where they are tasked to um, have a holiday in a motorhome. So um, I don't remember this episode too well, but what I do remember is that Richard Hammond has, a, has this thing where he has to build his own little house and it's not really all that safe in the windy area. Um, James has the very uncomfortable sort of space capsule thing on the top of his car and Jamie Clarkson decides to have a little apartment building on his car and at some point Hammond and May get a bit fed up of having to deal with his motorhome so while Jamie's off having an ice cream they decide to accidentally push his car off a cliff and well you see, you see what happens he it's just fallen down all that i actually don't have done a short of that particular clip so do do watch that if you want to see how how it happens and of course jamie being jamie isn't happy about it so yeah <laughs> so next um there is the whole middle east special now the middle east special top gear is uh is one that's probably the most dangerous one they've ever done because at the time of doing of doing this um, they were going to the Middle East, and as we all know, the Middle East is a place where a lot of war has happened and is probably still happening. Um, 
and they decide to re to sort of redo reenact the sort of major point in the nativity where the three wise men go to visit the baby Jesus. So in this case, Jeremy, Richard and James are the three wise men who are tasked by gold, frankincense and myrrh. What they end up doing is traversing the Middle East, trying to get to Bethlehem and on the way, um, Richard buys gold, James buys shampoo in a place of frankincense and Jeremy buys a Nintendo DS in the, in the place of myrrh. They go to visit the baby Jesus and it turns out the baby Jesus is not the baby Jesus but something else entirely. I will not spoil it for you because because it's um, quite funny if you just feel surprised about it. So yeah, that's the that's basically the whole Mi Middle East um, special. They're playing the Three Mice Men trying to traverse the war-torn areas of the Middle East to get to Bethlehem and reenact the scene from the Nativity, which we should all know by now. Uh, so, more recent one in the Central Europe special of the Grand Tour, also known as Eurocrash. Um, James, Richard and Jeremy each buy a car that you wouldn't normally use in a road trip and James gets this little Crosley car. Now, the Crosley is an interesting car because unlike Richard and James's cars, which move just fine in busy roads, the Crosley is incredibly slow. In, in fact, I would go as far as to call it a whole new level slow for the man that, that, was, that it has the nickname Captain Slow is the slowest car in the special slow to the point where where james is struggling to sort of get through get through lorries on the motorways and all sorts and it eventually gets to a point where the car is so slow that jeremy and richard have more of a fun time on their road trip than james does and james in turn takes his revenge on them and yada 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 it's a quite a recent one on amazon prime so do watch that it's quite a funny one so yeah there's that one Uh, next one is my is my most viewed short, and this is the one where James May crashes the Jag, or as one commenter put, the Jaguar, <laughs> um, in Colorado. So it's basically a sort of speed drag race where they have to get to 100 miles an hour, and because James has purposely picked the slowest one, he doesn't quite reach 100 miles an hour until the car gets off basically falls off the cliff of course as we know this is obviously scripted so james isn't actually in the car when he when he crashes the car or or is he we never really know but he somehow survives it and yeah it's, it's just quite a funny moment where he's just driving and then ah! yeah i remember watching this with one of my friends and he actually shouted to the screen james! as he was as he was driving off <laughs> yeah it's it's so funny that one uh, so another one from the Grand Tour, um, which is the challenge where the trio decide to create a coral reef using cars. Now this is another short that I did, um, and this is where May, Hammond and Clarkson um, destroy cars and take the painting off and try and make a coral reef. But the challenge kind of, they kind of struggle with the challenge before they even begin because on at first Richard pulls the release cord and James has a go at him for pulling the release cord because he's meant to steer it and they're meant to release it. And then after that, they try and get the car onto a boat. The boat tips over. James not really helping because he misheard information. And yeah, it's just a shambles, the whole the whole challenge. But still funny. And definitely one, one of the challenges where you definitely could see them be the modern day stooges that they are. So, yeah. So you might remember a car that Richard Hammond had in Botswana many years ago. He called it Oliver. Now, he had a very personal attachment to the car. And at one point, the car gets flooded and he just and he is in such emotional distress that he wants to save the car as best he can. And I don't remember if he saved it or not, but I know he did restore it many years later. But yeah, he has a very personal attachment to the car that is Oliver um, and I did and did save it. But. Yeah, he was in such emotional distress, bless him. <laughs> okay, so next um, one from the very controversial Patagonia special of Top Gear. Now, 
many people will agree that this contra that this um special is not as entertaining or as fun as the other specials and i can kind of see why because not only do we have that controversial bit at the end where they're trying to escape protesters which actually did happen um but there was also mo there was also a lot of other serious moments but the moment that really stuck out for me that i thought was actually probably the only funny moment of the special is Jamie Clarkson reenacting scenes from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, uh, specifically the scenes where it's going around the going around the house and then just going around Richard and James as Richard's trying to fix his car and at some point James throws a log at him and he goes ow. <laughs> That's probably the only funny thing I found in that special. I'm sure there's other funny parts in that special too, but that was like the only funny part for me. So yeah. So the next one I'm going to put in is the whole India special of Top Gear where the trio do a trade mission. Now, usually when they do a special, they usually have a sort of card to read where they read out what the challenge is going to be. But because it's a trade mission and in India, they decide to just go to flow and just figure out what things they should be doing that that makes up a trade mission. Now, bearing in mind that at the time they did this special, James Cameron, who was the Prime Minister for Great Britain at the time, told them not to do it because they found the country was bankrupt and he felt that diplomacy was the best way to go about it but Top Gear being Top Gear and you know people generally when do we ever listen to the gov the government I mean yeah okay we did listen to the government when they locked to put us in lockdown even though some people we're not gonna mention names actually um did break rules but anyway so they go to India in um, cars that they feel are British made or British cars or whatever. And they do various parts to the trade mission, each one kind of sort of failing with only a few actually succeeding. So there's the dabble walling part where they're trying to deliver food to, to people. And they do it in the way that we do it here, where it's basically a car or a bike that's delivering the food to the people instead of trains. Um, then they do a billboard on a, on a train, which actually does work out quite well for them for a little while. And then the billboard gets ripped apart when the trains separate, separate, which is what trains do when they're going on long journeys. Um, then they do a mountain race, which Jeremy, which Jeremy completely and utterly mucks up because he actually ends up winning that one when he's not supposed to. And then all, all this other stuff that happens that most basically makes the whole train mission be in tatters and... In the end, they then decide that the best way to represent Britain and remind India that there is a small country called Britain that's willing to do business is to put the cars on plinths so that the two, the two superpowers that are China and India can see that, um, I think it's China, I can't remember. Anyway, um, that can see that there is a small country called Britain, Great Britain, that want, wants to do business. So that's that one. Uh, so going to the Burma special now, the one where they drive lorries. Um, at one point, the trio decide that they've had enough of living in, of going into accommodation that's actually not really all that good. So they decide to modify their lorry so that to best help them on their journey to build a bridge over the River Kwai, which, as we all know, ends up not being the River Kwai but the River Kok. Um, so. In their modifications, um, it becomes apparent that James May hasn't made any sort of sleeping accommodation for him in his lorry. But then he says he has, and then later on it's established that he actually made a sort of camping tent, which he hangs from using his crane. Um, and on a couple of occasions, Clarkson and also Hammond decide to move him away because of his snoring. And James May being James May, he doesn't like heights, complains at Clarkson and Hammond. And the second time they do it is that he's actually over the, the river that they are building the bridge on. And and well, you've seen what happens in the in the short. He gets he gets knocked about and then he goes into the river and yeah, the rest is history. So not from Top Gear or Grand Tour, but from YouTube this time. Um, on, I believe it's the What's Next or Food Tribe channels. Um, a few years ago, James May 
made a cheese sandwich where he and it and because it's James May it became a meme and it was a meme because of the way he said cheese versus cheese that's how that's how he did it a few moments later that was work going on back there um so that's that one and <laughs> it's quite funny the way he just says it I think anybody and anything he says is quite funny anyway and ends up being meme material. So, so yeah. Uh, moving on from that. So this one that I was hoping to use in the 100 subscriber special, but um, the BBC blocked it. So ultimately I couldn't use any. And I even tried to make a short out of it, but it, the BBC still wouldn't let me do it. So I'll just say what it is. Um, so... At one point in Burma special, the lorries end up running out of petrol, and as a result of that, it, drastic measures had to be taken. So Jeremy decides to go find some horses, which the three then use to ride to go get the petrol. However, things start start to get a little ugly when one when one of the horses decides to decides to um, have a fight with um, James James May's horse. Um, but, with Jamie begging them to please don't fight and all that stuff. And then it and then after that, eventually Richard Hammond has a has a fall from one of the horses. So ultimately Jamie Clarkson decides to just take the horse to the next village, get petrol for the lorries, fill the lorries up, and then they can be on their way to the to the River Kwai. Um it's quite a funny scene. It's a shame that I can't show it to you because of the BBC blocking it. But there you go. So returning to Africa, um, at one point when they decide when they stay in a in an accommodation that's not very good, Richard decides that they should do camping, but not camping in the sort of traditional way where you put pitch a tent and all that. No, he decides that instead of doing that because he knows that May and Clarkson don't really like tenting, um, that they should modify the cars so they can sleep in them. So. They spend a bit of time working on that, and and the end result is that is that Richard has an upstairs sitting room and a kitchen inside his car. James May has a living quarters with tools, a workshop, and so forth. And Clarkson has a very comfortable bed with a chest of drawers made from a coffin, as well as a toilet, a shower, and a sort of chill box for bottles of beer which uh, are very, very good ways to do it. Um, they do, in the end, end up not working out for them in the end because um, they end up racing to get to the, um, to the Africa bit, to the um, Sorcerer River Nile. But yeah, that's that one. Now, you might recall from one of my earlier Richard Hammond shorts that there have been a couple of times where Richard has forgot to use his mirrors. Uh, the first time was in the Africa special where he decided to reverse and crashed into um, Clarkson's sports lorry. And the second time, which is the one I'm going to talk about now, is in Colum yeah, in Colombia where he decides to you where he decides to reverse and ends up reversing into Jeremy Clarkson's car. And Clarkson goes, Use your mirrors! Ah! <laughs> and yeah, it's just funny. But yeah, if you ever drive, definitely use your mirrors. Don't ever u not use them. Definitely do use your mirrors because they're very important. So returning to the Euro Crash special. Um, at one point when James May is modifying the cars and basically screwing over Hammond and Clarkson, he ends up giving Clarkson's car, because it's the Coelho de Ville car, the um, Coelho de Ville treatment. Basically having lots of different sport, sports to look at, Dalmatian and all sorts of other wonderful stuff. And yeah, Clarkson actually is okay with it. In the few times where he's where they've caused hijinks in each other's cars, Clarkson's actually okay with James May's um, modifications in his car because it's at because it actually does look like Quella Deville's car when they when he is about doing it. So that's that one. <laughs> Now, you'll remember from quite a few um, series ago with Top Gear, James May had a little saga where he was going on about the Dacius and Dero, where he goes, 
bad news. The death of Sandero has been delayed. And Jamie Clarkson, uh, in his one of his most iconic moments, goes, Oh, no. Anyway, last week. And, yeah, it just goes on from there. Like, it goes, good news, bad news, good news, bad news, yada, yada, yada. And then eventually, in a challenge or two, he actually gets the de- he actually uses the Dacia Sandero in a challenge. So the saga is over. You can move on. Yay. <laughs> Still a funny moment, though. So returning to Africa, we come to... It's t- getting towards the end of the special, and... The trio decide to have a race to what they believe is the true source of the River Nile. And the race starts with Hammond and May racing, speeding ahead, trying to get to the Nile first, with Clarkson taking a safe approach, but then Clarkson eventually abandons that to drive, and then they speed up, and then eventually they get to a point where they need to get off-road and then figure out where the source is, and then they drive off. And then that's where things get ugly, where they're trying to batter each other, Clarkson's trying to use Genesis to move Hammond out of the way because Hammond is not a fan of Genesis as such. So there's that. Um, and yeah, it's just a, fun, a funny moment. And usually when they do races like that, it's usually a very close call. And that was definitely a close call that got ugly. So yeah. Uh, so not from Top Gear, Grand Tour, in fact, any of the shows, I believe... Um, in one of his earlier hijinks, Clarkson goes to America to basically prove to America that the British have had have made more inventions than America. And he does this by sort of doing a sort of protest, having a billboard on him, saying what British the British have invented that America uses and what the Americans have invented. And um, yeah, it gets to a point where he does get arrested by the American police force. And yeah. <laughs> It's a funny moment for Clarkson, so yeah, good one on that. So one of the challenges that um, the trio did on Top Gear was to create limos out of cars and use the limos to go to, uh, I believe it was the Brits, and take some very high-level high level celebrities. So... Um, I know one of them was Chris Miles and another was Jamelia. I forget who the other one was. Akon, I think it was. But, or actually could be another one. I'll, I'll say well, who it is in the edit when I figured it out. But anyway, um, so they each have their own different limos. And the one that James May creates actually is quite funny because it's basically two cars merged into one. So on one side, it's, I, I forget which car which car I decide it is, but it's basically one car one side, one car the other side, and you basically pick pick which side you prefer. But the end result of it is that the car can basically just go in any direction. So if it needs reverse, it doesn't need to reverse because it can just use the other engine. But because of that, James May did ultimately screw up the challenge and the celeb the high the high level celebrity he got had to leave after complaining. So yeah, that was that one. It's a very strange combo, that one, I must say. So, on a few occasions, um, Clarkson has got got these very tiny, very small cars, and he decides to cause trouble by using them, and the end result is he's ended up causing problems in the BBC offices for that, and all sorts of other stuff, and yeah, they're just, they're just funny moments where Clarkson's just driving a, a little car in the office, and yeah... It doesn't really go well, go well, for the most part. He's still determined that they are the best cars in the world, but they're not. Definitely not. Unless you're into that sort of thing. So, you heard me talk about Clarkson Sports Lloyd, but now let's talk about Scott Clarkson Sports Train. So, in a challenge where they, on Top Gear where they had to make a train, May and... Hammond decided to create a train made up of caravans and Clarkson was originally with them but then eventually decided to go his own way and create a sports train um, having these big high big named reviewers on his little train and sort of saw it as an experience but ultimately the um, the thing never happened and yeah it was just a it just went into tatters but still funny funny moments though so, returning to Burma, Richard Hammond has a purpose-built shower. And at one point, because he was he was holding up Clarkson and May 
for a while. Clarkson May decides to pay them back, pay him back by taking having a piss in the in the bucket that goes into a shower. This results in Hammond having what many could describe as a golden shower, a warm shower, or something. But either way, he would be stink. He would be stinking with piss later. Um, I you would have seen some of you will have seen this in a short I did some time ago, and yeah, it's still a funny moment. Now, of the things that Richard Hammond doesn't like, one of the things he doesn't like is Mexico. He's made that very clear in a very few times. And in one challenge where they had to do a race to, and whoever wins, has, whoever loses, had to do a review of a car in Mexico, James and Jamie uh, plotted to to basically get there before Hammond does. And eventually Hammond does lose and he has to go into the Mexican Mexico to review the car. But he does so with a mask and everything. And he does it a few episodes after that challenge. And um, yeah, it's... Yeah, he's basically in in a in a place where he his head could be taken off, could be bitten off quite easily because of the comment of the extreme comments he has made about Mexico. Now, Jamie and May have not had that big of a controversy with how Mexico does things, but um, yeah, it is Richard Hammond that's the one that has the major problems with Mexico. Who cares? I'd say. <laughs> So now we take now for more serious thing. Now, Jamie Clarkson, as we all know, is a controversial figure that is hard to really take seriously. But it was only when in the Patagonia special that he decided that the car he was using, which was the Porsche 928, um, Hammond and May thought it was it was pathetic, impossible, and all that. But he decided it wasn't pathetic to him because of an incident that happened which resulted in his dad where his dad was basically in the final hours of his life and his mum needed him to get to the hospital as quickly as possible so he had this poor he had this car at the time drove it there with a hot chicken that he was cooking in the oven and he was able to see his dad and half an hour later his dad passed away so it's one of those few moments where Clarkson is actually being deadly serious and actually you could see when he was talking about it there were tears coming out of his eyes and um, it's one of those moments where you forget that even though Clarkson can be a cock and controversial at times he is very much human in every way and does feel stuff as well not just he's not just having all these controversial topics he does feel stuff too and the very last moment that I'm going to talk about is a moment that um, is quite relevant to many of us YouTubers which is James May unboxing a car. Of all the things to unbox, a car is just something you don't unbox. It A car is too big to be unboxed. I mean for most of us we get these boxes delivered and then we and then we put a video on and we unbox them to show you what what's in them and some and sometimes people like to value each each item they get others just like to just show you what they have and just say what their history is of franchises that's where i that's what i do i'd say what my history is with franchises when i unbox a box but no james may decided he wanted to go to take it to a whole new level and unbox an actual car and that is how it worked so that is 25 moments featuring Clarkson, Hammond and May. Whether you love them, hate them or feel a bit mixed about them, they are entertaining. They may have lots of opinions to share, but they are very entertaining and should not be considered like the most hated people in the world because then they're, they're, they're far from hated. I mean, there's a lot of people that love them. I mean, you, you guys that have been subscribed to me for a while clearly love them because of the views I get from the, from the shorts and all that. Um, I mean, the... One where James May is crashing that Jag or Jaguar is still my most watched short and my most video overall on this channel. So there's definitely some love for them all over the world. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please like, share, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace to you all. And a bit of advice I will say is that they often have these disclaimers when they do these challenges to not attempt to do them at home. And... 
if I'm being completely honest, I would agree in that you should not try their challenges at home unless you really know what you're doing. Especially the, especially some of the scene stuff that they've done. Definitely only do them knowing what you're doing. And don't do it knowing that you'll end up in hospital or something like that. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for helping me reach 200 or, or whatever it is, subscribers at the time of this video. And here's to the next milestone. So yeah. Toodles. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening.